My name is Nathaniel Fick. I'm a fellow at the Center for New American Security, a former Marine captain, served in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm John Noggle. I'm a retired Army officer, now a senior fellow at the Center for New American Security. I fought both in Desert Storm and in Iraq, and I've recently returned from my second trip to Afghanistan. It's just funny for me because uh, uh, General Petraeus, of course, had, had hopes that he would uh, uh, become Supreme Allied Commander of Europe, and I actually um, I, I got to know him a little bit uh, as a cadet at West Point. He was one of my instructors there, but, but really got to know him uh, while he was a speechwriter to General Galvin, the Supreme Allied Commander in Europe, in the late 80s. And, and uh, Petraeus, uh, of course, um, spent a lot of time with General Galvin and, and got to know the chateau that is the... Um, uh, the living quarters of, of the Supreme Allied Commander, uh, Europe, and, and uh, I think he and Holly were, were uh, very hopeful that he would get to, to return there, not as a, a speechwriter, but uh, in command. And instead, um, he, he, <laughs> he gets to try to turn Afghanistan around. Mm -hmm. um, an extraordinarily difficult task. Uh, Petraeus has been pretty clear himself about the um, difficulty, the degree of difficulty of, of the task, that he thinks it's going to be even harder than Iraq, although, as I indicated, I think there's there's some some pressure, some lessons learned from Iraq that, that will, will make the, the, the process perhaps uh, move more rapidly, I hope. But it is um, an extraordinary task to ask of this man. I, I have to say, uh, nobody ever got smart betting against Dave Petraeus, and, and do not underestimate the determination, the drive, the ability of this man. Uh, his understanding of counterinsurgency, his uh, ability to appraise a situation rapidly and correctly and, and discern pressure points and figure out how to apply all of the instruments uh, at his disposal effectively to, to make the situation better. Just look at the preliminary steps that he's taking here, pulling together an assessment team of experts from across fields, not not military experts, tacticians and strategists, but uh, development and governance experts, Americans, non-Americans, and uh, and putting them under the under the leadership of of H.R. McMaster, uh, and saying, think hard, no ideas off the table, and and let's come up with uh, let's come up with a plan.